Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for checking me out. This is going to be my very first Minecraft uh, Let's Play. I'm probably going to do more. I definitely stream um, Minecraft Hardcore on Twitch if you want to check that out. The Twitch is in my uh, YouTube link, so go ahead and click on that. It'll take you right to my Twitch. Uh oh, I'm having a hard time to type. And speaking. Alright, I cannot multitask, so let me... <laughs> there we go, I finally completed something. Alright, let's get this started. Hopefully I spawned somewhere really nice. As um, you may or may not know, Minecraft just came out with a new 1.15 update, the Busy Bees update. And I'm super excited about it. I've been playing Minecraft for... Gee, oh, eight, nine years? Since 2011, so what would that be? Uh, eight years, almost nine years? Yeah, uh, and I've played all the different versions of Minecraft from old to bedrock to mobile. Ooh, is that snow? Ooh, oh, we're near a taiga forest. Maybe we can get some foxes up in here. But this is great. This is a plains biome, which means there might be some bees, which means I'm going to be happy. Plus, I like Plains Biomes just because there's so much building space. It's just so easy to imagine, like, oh, there could be a really nice, uh, like, huge house here. Or maybe we could build a city. I have no idea. I know that I want to do a lot of special things in this Let's Play. For example, uh, I would love to do something with my subscriber count being a new YouTube channel. Uh, if there was a way that maybe... I could keep adding like armor stands or something, make like an army of subscribers, or maybe I can do that with snow golems. But um, that's just one of the few ideas. So I'm wondering if maybe, I don't think there are any bees nearby at least. So we should just get to chop it. Chip, chop. And as a professional Minecrafter, um, if you don't know this, the best way to really go about starting is to really chop down only one tree, get the, as much wood from that one tree as you possibly can, uh, no matter how long it'll take, because it'll take some time. But you want to get all the wood, put it all into planks, make a crafting table, and then just turn the rest, well not the rest, save three, and turn the rest into sticks and a button. I like to save the button for my first door. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds kind of dumb, but I like I like having buttons on doors just because it looks cooler. It, it's like a fancier way to open it. But uh, all right, so we got our first pickaxe, and we don't need to make any other wooden tools, and that's because wooden tools are the worst. Besides wooden pickaxe, which you do actually need to get stone to upgrade your tools. Uh, wooden tools aren't used really at all unless you want some kindling oh we got some bunnies but they're so cute oh my gosh ah <gasps> it's okay <laughs> all right so here we are let's you know what let's get some stone first so usually I like to get 11 stone enough to make another pickaxe and a uh, smelting furnace so it's eight for the furnace three for the pickaxe you should be set and as long as you bring your crafting bench with you you can make all this stuff right here so here I oh I got 12 go away I'm scared guys all right so we'll make this perfect and then we have eight left to make that awesome and We'll just leave that there. Uh, so let's throw this away. Since we don't need that. Bye. There it goes. All the way down there. I'm not getting that. Alright, let's start let's start mining. I've been debating on whether or not to uh, edit these, but I've been watching a lot of Minecraft playthroughs, trying to get myself prepared for filming one. And 
it doesn't seem like a lot of them are edited too much. I think it's really nice to just go along with the game. Um, the only problem really is the um, finding <laughs> finding things to talk about because it's weird having things be uh, so quiet for a little bit. But you know, uh, that's probably why they edit <laughs> too much quiet time. It feels a bit awkward when you don't speak, especially because you know now doing YouTube you need to have an audience and the audience tends to want to listen to you and not to just hear nothing, you know, watch a video to hear nothing. There you are! I've been wondering where he went. I do not have a sword. Okay. That's my bad. You're gonna punch him, but that's gonna take a while. I think one punch is a half heart. And they have, I think, as many hearts as I do. So, it takes a while. Also, notice my name, X Mimu X. That is not my. Ooh, I fell. That is not my name. My name on Minecraft is and always has been Kyle968. However, a, like maybe a week ago, before I started the YouTube channel, like re literally right before, someone hacked into my, mind, uh, my Minecraft, uh, changed my name, changed my password, deleted my realms. <laughs> basically all my hard work and yeah it was really upsetting i was gonna pretty much start all over anyway just because i like to do that at updates so i'm probably gonna do this let's play all the way up until the 1.16 update which is going to be the nether update and i believe they're updating the mountain biomes so i'm not i'm not sure if i want to stick around in the same world where they're doing a whole mountain biome update because that can that can mess with the um, terrain, it can mess with the seed, and I'd rather just start fresh. So hopefully we make this good enough in time to be able to, to be able to leave something behind that we're proud of when moving on to, into the next update. So I'm going to get as much stone as I can, and coal, and just see what I can get. Just see if I can go up there, maybe. Uh oh, maybe not. I don't want to go up there. Go away. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, bruh. So when creepers explode, they will um, the blocks that explode with them will drop some of the time. They don't have a hundred percent drop rate. However, TNT does, so um, I like a lot of times if I find a creeper in a cave, I like to let it explode just because stone has a high blast resistance, so it won't actually explode that much, um, and I don't know, it, it seems like, oh, uh, maybe like if it explodes and it uh, re reveals a diamond or reveals some iron, it's, it's lucky, plus I don't really gotta expend the energy to fight a creeper you know unless i really need gunpowder or something like that all right holy fuck uh, oh my god i'm almost dead <laughs> which brings me to my next point we need to get some food um let's two three four okay so no x i'm gonna do a hoe and a shovel, and then we're gonna do a sword finally. We'll put the sword over where that is, and these can. No, that's not to do. There we go. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's find some food. <laughs> I almost died. Four coal isn't bad to start off the one night. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you can see it's starting to go down, like it's moving down very slightly. So I. Definitely think we need to get some food, especially since we're almost dead. Now, we spawn near a river. Um, we spawn near a river, so I believe we might be able to kill some salmon. Um, which is a really good early game uh, food source if you spawn near it. Also, you can kill bunnies, but they don't always drop meat. It's unreliable, and they're hard to kill because they're so fast. Alright. Alright. I don't... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, there it is. Awesome. It's death time. 
Uh, it's duck time. Yeah. All right. Ooh, is that clay? I can make a fireplace. I love clay. I like bricks. I think bricks are one of the prettiest um, blocks in Minecraft. Um, they're a little bit of a pain in the butt to gather and get, but I really, really, really like them. I think they go nice um, on a build, especially like, oh my gosh, sheep. Oh yeah, we can make a bed. Oh man. Oh, there's three of them. That's perfect. Oh, there's four of them. Okay, time to die. Go to afterlife. Bye bye. Afterlife time. Woo, afterlife time. Time to go see Sheep God. I don't need four, but I wanted to kill him. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have killed him. But, uh, oh well. Alright, so we got pretty much uh, what we need. And I believe. You know what? Honestly. This is not a bad place for uh, a one-nighter base. There's ca I might just build it up in this cave. Yeah, this looks actually really cool right here. Oof, wait, maybe not. No, never mind. Never mind, I can, I can cover this and it'll be fine. All right, let's do that. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I'll put that there, um, cause you can tell it's it's getting dark out. So let's kind of build this up. All right. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Oof. And that's why I gathered some wood because I knew that would happen. I mean, I can always mine more cobblestone. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, well, I wanted to clear this out a little bit anyway, just because I like my whatever base I have looking just a little bit natural. So, and if I really wanted to, I could just make the bed and skip the night, but I find that uh, just waiting out the night, maybe coming out to hunt a little bit, uh, but waiting out the night gives you more time just to do things. Oh, shoot. I just remembered I'm going to need a door. Oops, that's the wrong tool. Gosh darn it. One, two, okay. So that's six. Two, four. Five and six. Perfect. Okay. So we'll just replace those because you need six wood to get a door. Perfect. Now let's get that door. Where should we put... Um, we'll just do that here. Okay. Perfect, let's get that started. And then, oh, I had three already. Oh, for the bed, that's right, that's right, okay. Perfect, and then you always get a white bed, but if you want, you can dye it, and I do want <laughs> to dye it, but you need to use flowers and things like that for this. So we can make a red bed, go over here, You think we can make it? There's some skelly boys. Oh, oh, there's a zombie. Oh, 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 run away. Oh, I can't run. <laughs> Walk away. Aw, uh, F word. All right, we made it. Perfect. Red dye. Red bed. I love red beds in Minecraft. They were the original bed color. Um, it's perfect. Another reason to wait a little bit into the night uh, before sleeping is because it gives hostile mobs a chance to spawn. So mobs like strays or zombies or husks, um, anything that burns in the daytime, uh, skeletons too, they will be out here and be burning when you wake up. So you can easily just go over there and pick up the loot without even having to fight them on your first day. So gather some arrows, gather some bones, which are super, super helpful. Uh, especially if you find like pumpkins or watermelons, bones and bone meal will help you grow. And then, oh, I need to eat still. Uh, and then like spiders too. They will be out at, what the? That's bogus. <laughs> Uh, they will be out, but in the daytime, spiders will not attack you. They will attack you at night, but they will spawn during the night, and then when it turns daytime and you come out, they won't attack you, so you could attack them first. 
Let's see, where's my food? Let's cook the salmon. Ooh, I can't believe I almost died on my first playthrough. That would have been awful. <laughs> that would have been the worst. Okay, so I think it's time to maybe do some... You know what, should we do some mining or should we do some exploring? No. What we need to do is get a farm started. So, let's see where... You think this is a good place for a farm? I think it's a little bit too raised up. Let's um, let's try and find a good place for a farm. All right, back up to full health, full hunger. All right, perfect. A forest over there. I, you know what? That might be a flower forest, which means bees will also spawn over there. That's awesome. All right. And if you are a decorative person, you probably want to pick up at least one oxide daisy because if you combine that with a piece of paper, it will give you a banner pattern, a flower banner pattern, um, which is the only battery banner pattern you can usually get early game. Um, if you're lucky enough to find a village, find some villagers, you can start up a villager system and eventually, uh, I believe a cartographer, a master cartographer, will give you the globe pattern. Uh, but that takes a while. That's definitely not an early game thing. It's more of a mid-game type. Oh, wow, that mountain looks so cool. That's our base mountain. I didn't know how. I didn't realize how cool it looked. <sighs> All right. Okay, actually, I think... I don't know. See, I want to make my farm somewhere big enough to make a lot of food for it. But I also need it near enough to my place. Alright, so let's see. Maybe we can... I am very reckless <laughs> when it comes to just running around in Minecraft. I'll jump... I'll, like, parkour through trees. I'll jump off cliffs I'm pretty sure are, like, fine. Like, if there's, like, a 4x4 four four pool of water and I'm, like, at build height, I'll still jump down. I'll probably survive. <laughs> uh, I know there's that water trick where you hold a bucket of water and you place it down right before, but I am just... It, either my computer lags right before I do it, or my timing is off, and I, I always die. Every single time. I try that trick a lot. Uh, more often than I should. For failing so much. But... And this is probably the most efficient way to cut down trees, too. Just hopping on top. If you can, hop on top of them and just go straight down. After that, just leave, and the, the leaves and branches, they'll fall on their own. You can pick up sticks, you can pick up saplings, it's great. And we don't have iron yet, so we can't make a bucket, which means any farm we make is going to have to be at water level. And you see right here at water level, there's not much ground to farm. Uh, we'd probably have to do some terraforming. So I think I think that's what I'm going to do right here. I think we're going to make it right here. So let's just terraform a little bit. And since I haven't really found much of anything, it looks like we're just going to have a wheat farm at the moment. Um, sometimes zombies will drop carrots. Other times, uh, normally they won't. Sometimes they will, normally they won't. Uh, if you get lucky, a zombie will drop a carrot, you can get a carrot farm going too. But um, we're just going to start on the wheat farm for now. So, I want to make it here because I like the way that... I just like the way farms on the water look. I think it's super peaceful, you know, like a little, little farm you got on the edge of a riverbank. Uh, it's nice, you know? I think we might fill this water in a little bit, too. I don't know. Uh, we're definitely going to take this sand out, because it does need to be dirt. Uh, the only thing you can plant on sand is sugarcane, and I'm not going to start sugarcane farm yet. If I find sugarcane, I'd rather do an automatic sugarcane farm. However, if I haven't gotten to the nether by the time I find... Oh! Wow, I'm eating my words. Look at <laughs> their sugar cane right over here. Bruh, as soon as I looked up. Alright, so we can plant this on the shore. It, it uh, won't plant anywhere else. It, it has to be next to water. It can plant here. 
But if you go up here, uh, it will not plant. It will not plant even around here. It has to be on the shore. Um, it won't, also it won't plant like on a diagonal block right here. It will plant on sand. It will plant on dirt. Just some uh, Minecraft professional tips for you. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, another Minecraft tip. Water saturates the ground around it for four blocks. So, it it's going to saturate one, two, three, four. Up to here is what it'll saturate. The same thing here. One, two, three, four. It will not saturate right here. Uh, soon it, it'll it'll get to that. Uh, it will, I guess. I guess it will, actually. Because this is four blocks away. So, right here it won't saturate. Because it's five blocks away from anything. As you can see, that's four blocks. That's four blocks. Um, what? <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. How is it saturating? Is it not four but one? One, two, three, four. Is that just four? Five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright, well, maybe they changed the dynamics of it. I'm just eating my own words here, man. Oh, anyway, let's continue farming. Let's just get all this farmland out and, um,. Oh, you know what? I also forgot to mention the fact that in rows is how plants, any plant, grows best uh, in Minecraft. So it's going to be rows of wheat and things like that. So it's, instead of just doing it like that, filling it in like both rows at a time, what you want to do is you want to do it row and then leave this empty so you can turn it back into dirt just by jumping on it. Or even by placing something on. Oh, maybe not. You used to be able to do that. I'm not sure what they updated in uh, 1.15. I know they optimized a lot of the settings. I'm not sure what else they changed. It may take a couple of jumps to get back on. But this is just going to turn out to be grass. So if you want to... Uh-oh, what happened? If you want to, you can put some torches on it. Light it up. And then we'll just leave the rest of this farm... Or you know what? I could let's go. Let's let's mow our lawn, huh? Let's mow. Let's mow the lawn. Get as much seeds as we can. All right, that's not as many as we could possibly get, but let's try for one to just to get ten. All right, we got ten. Perfect. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Please don't yell at me. Okay. Perfect. Alright. So these should... It's starting to get dark. It's going to start to get dark soon. So these should grow relatively fast. Um, like I was saying about bees earlier, uh, if you put a bee... Um, nest here not a bee nest a beehive here it will the bees will fly around this and you put flowers here the bees will go to the flowers and fly over the crops basically pollinating them making them grow faster and since they're already in rows it'll it'll basically max out the efficiency on this farm until we're able to get something that we can have a little more automatic like an automatic or semi-automatic wheat farm at least so that's good, and then we just really need to follow the river back home, I believe. And I need food because I don't have, I have, I'm very hungry. You can see my hunger bar is all the way down to three, and let me see if I'm, I'm on normal. I'd like to be on hard. I think that'll be challenging. Also, if you get down to no hunger on hard level, you will start to lose health. You will die eventually. But that will not happen in normal or easy or obviously peaceful mode. Uh, you'll just remain at like one thing of hell or hunger and it won't go down anymore and you'll just be hungry and you won't be able to run. But in hard mode, you will die. Keep that in mind. Let's light this up a little bit. Get rid of this. Hmm. 
feel like we could do more here. I don't know. All right. I definitely think it's time to start mining a little bit. So let's get this coal. We could definitely like, you know what? Let's let's just make this pretty. Make this room pretty. I am gonna have to get <laughs> a chest soon. Do not have one of those. Make it all nice and pretty, and then we can add some stairs up here just to make it more symmetrical, more like, but a lot more neater. Um, let's clear out this dirt. Oh, that's cool. All right, and then of course my fish is done cooking, so I should probably eat some of that. Yum yum yum. I'm yum fish. Fun fact, I'm actually allergic to fish in real life, so uh, my Minecraft character uh, might die yeah, if he eats some a lot of fish. Only mine, though. Yours will be fine unless you're allergic to fish, in which case I wouldn't recommend eating Minecraft fish. All right. Um... I'm trying. I'm gonna try and make this like as roomy as possible, cause I, I think I'm gonna stay here for a little bit until I get a bit more situated and a bit more comfortable in knowing what's in this world. I like to get, uh, I guess, feeling for the type of world I'm in before I start willy nilly going out <laughs> somewhere, and then I get lost, and then I die, and then I never find my stuff again, and then I have to quit. <laughs> I uh, rage quit everything. Okay. So. The problem is, I know there's. I know there's stuff on the other side of this wall. I just don't know what. Because I have not checked. I kind of don't want to. <laughs> uh, what? Alright. Too bad I haven't found any iron. I would love to make. Let's make some wood too, um, please. All right, and then let's finish digging out this coal. Because once we finish digging out the coal, we can cook our cobblestone and we can make regular stone. Um, after we make regular stone, we'll make some stone stairs because I really like the look of stone stairs. Uh, especially in a cave, it looks like it was just formed naturally like that, but not naturally. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean. It, it just looks better than, like, stone stairs or cobblestone stairs. It just, to me, makes the aesthetic a little bit more pleasing. All right. Because you see how ugly the cobblestone is compared to the stone. Like, if this is all stone, it'd look nicer. So I think I might actually replace that. Uh, let's add... Oh, not that much. Alright. And then... Whoops. Make a lot of torches. Good, we got a decent amount of torches. Let's put this button somewhere. <laughs> I, I lied before. <laughs> you don't really need the button. Um, I just... <laughs> I like to I like to see the button as um, a nice decorative item. Obviously, this doesn't work, but it's there now, and it looks cooler to me. <laughs> Everyone else is like, "No, dude, it's it's dumb. Don't don't. You know what? I don't need your advice." All right, and then. I like to do this with my granite and my andesite, or andiorite. Just make it all polished. Get it all into multiples of four. <laughs> because honestly, it's just so much more satisfying and perfect. I have 16, which means I can make a double chest. So, where should I put it? Put, oh, you know what? This is perfect. Right here. There we go. Nope. 
I do like to start making my chests at least like a little bit organized, even right from the beginning. So I'll usually have a chest of just blocks, just things that are actual blocks and nothing like these, uh, or even tools or doors or things made out of blocks. And then I like to have another one for just tools like arrows, stone shovels, and, and just the generic tools, maybe the doors. And I also like to have one for nature things, oak saplings, oxide daisies, dandelions, flowers, you know, and then a separate one just for food. Uh, usually I'll just make it a single chest just for food because uh, I go through food pretty fast. Like I said, I'm pretty reckless, so I'll carry around a lot of food if I can <laughs> because I do, <laughs> I do lose that much hearts. Uh, I am that reckless, so... Let's get rid of this. I like this little sleeping nook, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, all right, we'll wait till 12 because you need six for stairs. Maybe should I get rid of this? All right. This, 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 and this. Let's cook those. Twelve, perfect. Okay. All right. So now we got eight stone stairs, which is great. <sighs> Damn it! All right. Where else can I put it? I'll just put it there. Oh, now I need one more. Okay, perfect. That actually looks really cool. It looks like it's part of the wall. I love that. Alright, let's start this. So, blip, blip, blip. Now we have one automatically. Let's do the other side. Blip, 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 blip. And blip. Okay. See how nice and, like, generic that looks? Like it was naturally generated a little bit? I just love it. Okay, so let's sleep. It is nighttime after all. Okie dokie. I think let's just leave those cooking. I think it's good. It's time to go check on our farm. I was not sure if I was gonna make that. Professional Minecrafter. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, hey, buddy. No, please. No, please. Ah, sucker. I hear Spooter. Spooter? Oh, Spooter. All right. Hey, buddy, that's not cool. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> there's a creeper hiding over there. <laughs> I can see you. All right, you can see our farm from here. Look at that. Doesn't really look like <laughs> much has grown, though. Let's see if I can kill this creeper. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh. Run, 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 run. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh. All right. I think I think one more hit should do it. Run, 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 run. Yeah, we did it. All right. Now we got gunpowder. TNT time, anyone? Hmm. Big boom? No, I think so. Huge boom. Yes, indeed. I like. I like that. Oh, hello, chicken. Does that bunny have red eyes? What the? F That's terrifying. <laughs> Are all white bunnies have red eyes? Or is that just special? Look at me. You're freaking scary, dude. I'm going to kill you. I don't like you. <laughs> I dropped one. Wow. Roll a rabbit. I can have a rabbit for dinner tonight. Uh, oh, you know what? I think they do all have red eyes. Look at them. They're so cute, though. I like they're creepy. They're cute. But they're really creepy, though. With the red eyes, I don't like it. I thought it was a, the special mob. There is a special mob bunny in Minecraft. Although I'm not sure if it exists in the world or if you have to spawn it. It's called the Killer Bunny. And it's a reference to Monty Python and the Holy Grail. 
uh, in that movie, they had a scene where <laughs> there was basically a killer bunny. They went into a cave, and the bunny came out, and then they killed him. They were like, what? That bunny? That's not... That's nothing! And they go charging in, and they all die because the bunny's a killer rabbit. And so they added the killer rabbit into Minecraft. Let's... Will we find the killer rabbit this playthrough? Hmm? I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. All right. Yeah, this is uh not doing too well. So let's speed it up a little bit. Let's speed it up. So we got 12 bone meal. Flip, 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 flip. All right. Um, three, we got three more. Oh, we got one more. Okay. Get rid of these. Perfect. Okay. Oh no, we're missing one. And then we'll get rid of these. And I think it's a good idea to put torches in here. Just because I don't want mobs spawning on top of this. If they walk over it, I don't think it'll be a huge deal i think the only problem will be if they jump on it and they only jump on it if you hit them so let's just not fight mobs here <laughs> agreed agreed okay sounds awesome Flip. Oh, this one too we're gonna need to and then of course if we get another crop we can actually plant like if we get say potatoes or carrots we can plant them in here it just needs to be rows of single crops. So, like, you can't have a bunch of wheat all in a field and expect to, the efficiency to go up. You need to have wheat in one row, potatoes, carrots in another row, wheat, uh, carrots, wheat, carrots, and so on like that. Or, of course, you could use anything. You could use beets. You could use potatoes. You could use whatever. Whatever you want to plant. Uh, I don't recommend beets. I don't think beets are useful at all. Um, I think they're dumb. They are, they take about as long as wheat to grow, but my god, are they just awful. They, they, you can make like one thing out of them, you can, like, you can't even really eat them. I don't know if you can, I haven't really tried. I don't like them, I genuinely <laughs> hate beets. And I, I really don't even like beets in real life. I can't imagine anyone who does. Okay. Ooh, nice, ooh, nice, okay. Okay, perfect. So... I need a saddle first, but we got horses over here, we got sheeps over there, we got cows over there, which means we can probably in the next video get started on a cow and sheep farm, which will not be automatic yet, but I just want to get my cow and sheep reserves up for the day. Um, just so, like, I like the look of leather, um, I like the fact that you can customize leather. Uh, I will probably be mostly wearing iron armor, but... Leather armor for the horse, dyed leather armor for, like, armor stands and things like that. Uh, I would love to have a bunch of armor stands with all the different colors of dyed leather. I think that would be cool to look at. I don't know. I have a lot of plans for this Minecraft playthrough. But, um, it looks like it is about that time where I have to end the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Nailed that. <laughs> like I was saying, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I will be posting more in the future. If you liked it, give me a comment. Tell me what you liked about it. Uh, share this to your friends. If you know people who like Minecraft playthroughs, uh, send them on over my way. And otherwise, like and subscribe, comment, do whatever you can to help me boost my channel. Like I said, I'm a new, I'm a new uh, YouTuber, so I would love the help and I love the support. If you know me and you're watching this because you like my page on Facebook, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys supporting me if you actually physically know me. If you don't physically know me, that's fine too. You can get to know me in my next few videos. Uh, there should be a link to my next video on in the description. And um, yeah, alright. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll end with this sheep. Isn't he beautiful? Hey, hey get back here. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.